11, local first. A former nursing aide at a Denver facility is facing charges for allegedly stealing a credit card from an elderly patient. Plus, it's day two in the trial of a man accused of killing a Millersville University student. Today, the jury saw her body for the first time. But first, two presidential candidates are making stops in our area. Good evening. I'm Shannon Murphy. We begin tonight with Bernie Sanders, who is set to take the stage at Pasillo Gym at Millersville University in about two hours. And News 11 Sarah Veronis is live on campus where Bernie supporters have been waiting for his arrival all day long. How's it going out there, Sarah? Shannon, as you can see, the crowds here are growing. They're excited. They're, they're screaming for Bernie right now, and they're all waiting to get inside to see presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders. Now, it's the young people like these behind me right now who are so excited. They're the ones propelling his campaign, and it's clear they're feeling the burn. Now, the Vermont senator is the first of those vying for the 2016 presidency to make a stop at Lancaster County. The Pennsylvania primary is just four days away. Sanders' stop at Millersville University could sway undecided voters his way. And the thousands of students turning out tonight say they are confident Bernie can bring the changes they are looking for. Just everything that he believes in is what I believe in. I believe that everyone deserves equality and everyone deserves a chance to thrive in life. Really, I really enjoy the um, public education and how he wants to reduce the price of it, essentially make it free. I don't appreciate the people who tell us, you know, oh, we can settle for Hillary, you know, we can, we can settle. I, I don't want to settle because Bernie Sanders is going to be leading the charge for real change. Now, despite the large age gap, Bernie has become the popular leader of this youth movement. Students for Sanders have clung to many of his beliefs, including raising the minimum wage, and it's clear at the top, making higher public education free. Now, the latest Franklin and Marshall poll does show Bernie Sanders trailing Hillary Clinton by double digits, but these supporters here tonight are hoping that this event will sway more to vote for Bernie at the primaries on Tuesday, and of course, we'll have more coverage of this tonight at 10 o'clock. Live at Miller University, Sarah Veronis, News 11. Thank you, Sarah. And Republican President.